Welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to show you how to make a pyramid in SketchUp. Step 1, open up SketchUp 2017. Click on Choose Template, and scroll down to Architecture Design Millimeters. Select it, start using SketchUp. Once it's finished loading in, let's create a rectangle. Click once, make sure it's on the red. So it should look like this, not like up. Type in, don't click on anything, just type in 50, comma 50. Now if you look in the bottom right corner of the screen, you see that I typed in 50, comma 50. Push enter, and you get this small little thing down here. That's 50 by 50 millimeters. Now the next thing you want to do is select the pointer tool, click on this guy, and push the delete button, not the backspace button, because that won't do anything. So let's go down here to our little square. Let's raise this up by clicking on this right here, the push pull tool. Click on it. Don't click down and hold. Click on it so you can drag. Type in 10 and push enter. You now have your first four complete. Select this pencil tool and this part may be confusing and there is an easy way to do this but it involves going to the toolbars. So select the pencil tool and go down to the middle sorry on the line and scroll over until it turns cyan. That's the midpoint. Drag your mouse forward and it sort of snap forward and snap straight. Like this. Don't select on blue exit. Don't do on blue axis because that's going to be up. Ch check it so it's on green. And then click on what well, doesn't have to be green. And click on, so type in 5. You should, have, you should have this little line. So just click anywhere else and do control Z. That's the undo button. Go back and do this on all four sides. Now that you have this complete, select the rectangle tool, click on this right here, or any of these, and then drag over to the one that's to the right. Rotate around and do the same thing now that you have this select the eraser tool to be next to the select tool and click and hold and select these lines right here now you see you open up this big area in the middle so let's select this tool the push pull and do 10 again Now that you have that, select these lines right here and try to de and delete them. Now sometimes you can select multiple lines, even ones you can't see, and then delete them and make it your pyramid look really weird. Now we just need to keep on doing the five millimeter. We're just typing in five on all sides. Don't forget to do Control Z to undo so you can, after you click, to get rid of that little selector. Now that you have that done, let's do the same thing. Rectangle, 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 rectangle. And this time, I should have done this the first time, select these four lines and also get rid of these ones on the outside. Now select the push pull tool. Make sure you're dragging it up, not down, and type in 10. Now the next thing you want to do is well keep on repeating the same simple process over and over again. Trust me, it it's better than I had to go through. 
when I was figuring out how to do this, I was trying to get all the dimensions right, but now that I know how to do it, it's really easy. And it's like the rectangle tool again. Select all of it. Remove the lines. By the way, in case you don't know, you gotta push on a mouse three to rotate. And mouse three is your scroll wheel, so you have to push down on your scroll wheel. And if you do shift and mouse three, you can do the pan tool. So you to move it around like this. And like this. In all directions. Now select this right here, make sure it's up, type in 10. You're almost done, don't worry. Select the tool right here, type in 5. 5 again. Five again. And five again. Next you have this little thing right here. Let's go in, select this. Make the square. And push pull it up ten. Now you don't have to like it can, you can finish it like looking like this, or you can, if you want, you can go one millimeter up each time so you get a more precise pyramid. But now, if you want to like, decorate the inside, use the select tool, click down here, to, just at the bottom part selected, push the delete key, and so you can decorate the inside of this house. Sorry, pyramid. Now, if you want it to be like more precise, you can use this pencil tool, select this corner and this corner. And then do the same all the way around. And you see it'll make a little shape. And it looks like it's curved. So now that you have that, go down and do it on every other side. This time, after using the pencil tool, you don't need to do Control Z because uh, when you're placing on the line, it's just getting hidden by the other ones. Now you have that. I go across. Select this key right here. And then keep on going. You're almost there. And now you have this. Now it may not look like a perfect pyramid, but if you want to do even extra, select this midpoint here, go straight across, select this tool right here, the move tool. Click on the center point, and you can drag it up. Make sure you have it like, and it's not being nice to me today. Like have it so it's like straight. Oh my god. want to be on the blue axis, come on. Okay, it looks like it's refusing to be on the blue axis. But you can make it go up and it'll be like a pointy point. Now that's the end of this tutorial. And now you have made a pyramid which you can decorate on the inside. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again.